you know when you see a black box with the two holes, it's Kylie. So this is the Coco K2 like collection. So um, Kylie and her sister Chloe, I think you know them. I don't know, I feel like everybody knows them on social media. But they collabed the first time they came out with this really pretty lip kit set. I didn't get that set, but I got the second round. So they came out with a beautiful lip kind of like kit line. So there's four liquid lipsticks, and then there is a face palette with two highlights, a blush, and a bronzer. We're gonna compare them with some other products I have similar. Um, we're just gonna see how it performs and if I like it. So I got the bundle, which was $81 with tax. That kind of just hurts me to say that. It was really expensive, so I'm really hoping <laughs> it's gonna be really good uh, because I really didn't like the um, Kim Kardashian West collaboration. Oh my gosh, I actually called it trash, and I'm not even kidding. It was really bad. I'm so grateful that I could afford it and get it, but it was really not good. I would not recommend it to you, but let's see if the Coco line is any better. Same box. Same foam that makes me like get goosebumps. I'll know what just happened to you. Let me know. Oh wow, really, really cute packaging. Um, really, really like that. You can pause the screen if you want to read what it says. Um, wow, this is actually really, really heavy duty feeling. I really like it. So this is obviously the lip kits, I believe, or the liquid lipstick collection. And then this is the face palette. Let's bust into the face palette first because I have no like blush or bronzer or highlight on, which I feel a little naked. Um, but. We're gonna use this little bad boy. Woo, I think it's gold or is it rose? No, I think it's rose gold, right? I'm not sure. Um, we have it, whoa, the little seal. And then the colors. Ooh, that looks really, really, really pretty. I like almost all the colors. Love this kind of corally blush and love that kind of bronzer. Ooh, the highlights are maybe promising. They're kind of like, probably like the Kai highlighters, those are the Kai lighters, something like that. I have a lot of those and I'm not a big fan of them. Um, they're okay, but they're not the best. So yeah, let's just open the lip one and then we'll apply the face one. So we have, ba no, we have Bunny, Baby Girl, Doll, and Sugar Plum. Um, so that's an order, I believe. So, wow, I'm really, really excited. These are definitely my kind of colors. If I was gonna pick bright colors, these are the ones I'd wear. And there's a really pretty lip gloss, I think. I don't know, I'm excited though. I'm gonna compare the face palette from Coco and Kylie um, with the Pretty Naked palette from 100% Pure. Um, it's definitely similar, but pretty different at the same time. I just wanted to kind of show you that. And then I think the Chrissy Teen palette is gonna look a lot like the Kylie Coco K palette. Is it? It does look a lot like it. Even the highlighters, the blush, even the bronzer. <gasps> I kind of thought it might. I have not opened this or touched this yet, um, but it does look very, very similar. Interesting. So I'm gonna swatch the blush. Oh, it's so soft. Oh yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's actually really, really pretty. I really like that color. I just, I love corals. Let's see how it swatches. Oh, wait, it's more of like a pink now. It's not as corally, that's for sure. Um, here, let me just kind of swatch the Becca, um, not highlight, blush in um, hibiscus blush. Oh wow, those are very similar. Hibiscus blush is on the bottom from Becca. Um, they are very similar. Uh, I think I actually prefer the one in the Chrissy Teigen palette, but still pretty. Then we have more of the white highlighter, which kind of reminds me from like a French vanilla, which I do have, I'll show you that. Ooh, very, very pretty. That's actually very soft. Here, I'll show you the Kai highlighter. Oh wait, wrong drawer. Yes, that is very, 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 very similar, yeah? Um, French vanilla is definitely a little more yellow tone though. Let's see what it looks like on the hand. And this one doesn't swatch nearly as well. The Kylie highlighters are, I think, were a little bit of a miss. Yeah, see, like, they're definitely, uh, mm, yeah. I think that the one in the palette is definitely a little better, which is surprising. But then we have the bronzy-ish highlight, which I think is actually really pretty, but not for my skin tone. I feel like this would be more of like a blush topper or even a bronzer topper. Um, yeah, that definitely doesn't barely show up because it's just about my skin tone. Then the bronzer. Ooh, that's pretty. It's very, very subtle. Um, yeah, that's actually really nice. I do like that. I say let's just go in. Yeah, I think so. Wow, okay. So I'm gonna first go in with the bronzer, which I'd say would be really great for like a uh, light to medium skin tone. No darker, no lighter, I don't think. I'm in that range, so let's just go in. Oh, whoa, I was blocking you. That's like a blush. It's not very like cool toned. That's for sure. Is that kind of orange? I'm definitely not into that at all that looks really bad it looks just like 
almost chalky and patchy. Kylie, you know what? I might be done purchasing Kylie. I'm like, I feel like I've really not been impressed recently. Did that really even like do anything? I feel like it almost just made my skin look like I got a bad self tan or something. I'm not sure, but ugh, that does not really look good at all. Not into the bronzer. Let's go in with the blush. Yeah, that's more like my alley. It's very subtle, but very peachy too. Um, I definitely am liking this the most. I turned down the brightness so you could see a little bit better. It's very pigmented. Um, so I do like it though. I really do. I really like this coral color. Highlight time. Okay, let's do this. So I'm going to mix both of the highlights together. More of the white one, I think, than the darker one. Maybe a little more white one because I'm a little fair. Okay, let's do this. Wait. Oh, my. Oh, 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 oh. That's really good. Okay, I'm really into the highlight. Oh my gosh, yes, please, thank you, Hailey. Hailey, <laughs> uh, wow, really, really good though. Really am actually liking the face palette. The blush and the highlights are really impressing me. Have you seen that? The, the bronzer, yeah, really not my favorite for my skin tone, especially because my skin tone is pretty, it's pretty light. Um, so I do really like everything else though. This, not so much. Oh my gosh, I'm like living for this glow. Love it. Um, so now let's swatch all of the liquid lipsticks and lip gloss. Wow, I'm really into all of the colors. The only shade that I'm not the biggest fan of is Doll. Doll is like, woo, bright, but it's actually really pretty. I feel like it could be really, really pretty with just like a very simple outfit uh, and very simple eyes, which I pretty much always have simple eye looks because I just love that intense glow. Um, but honestly, I really like all the colors, the lip gloss, Really, all of them. I just wish there was like a really pale, kind of really simple, basic nude. <sighs> um, but otherwise, I really do like this for like just like your whole entire bold. You have a nice purple, you have a very nice coral, you have a red, and you have like a lip gloss to top it on top of all the others. So I think let's just apply like a kind of bold color. I'm gonna go in with Baby Girl. I think my applicator is a little jank though. Do you see that? Just a tiny, like, I think it's a little like, I don't know, a little jank, I'll have to say. But that's okay. Oh, I love that because you can just swipe it on and you're done. It's amazing. It looks really, really nice. I'm into really everything besides the bronzer. I really do like everything. The swatch is dry. This is how they look. Um, do I want to put a gloss? I think I'm going to put a little gloss on the Cupid Spell. I do like the gloss. I just kind of patted it on top of it. Kind of just gives it a little moisture. I like it. If you were going to get one thing out of the entire line, I'd get the... The face palette, if you don't have a lot of like face products, I get the lip products if you don't have a lot of bold lip products. So it really depends on you, but that is my opinion. I'm excited about the stuff. I'll have to say, it's pretty good. Bye.